what that space looks like if you completely remove the star but leave its imprint in the fabric of the universe behind. And that is essentially the, the theoretical description or the model of a modern relativistic black hole where to picture a distortion in space and time, a distortion in the fabric of the universe, does indeed describe the simplest possible black hole that we can model in the universe. People didn't really think in those terms at all until later, 1930s, Einstein exploring that space-time and building models of what that space-time might look like. But I think it's true to say that most physicists thought that such things would not exist in nature, so they were theoretically interesting, perhaps not practically interesting. The reason is that you have to create such a thing. So it's one thing to have a model of space and time that describes this object called a black hole from which not even light can escape. But it's another thing for nature to actually make it 